Hi everyone, Jacques speaking from the Firewood Company Cape Town in South Africa. So uh, I get questions quite often, how do I clean my fireplace, how do I start a fire, etc. How do I build my fire to get it started? So I thought I'll make a couple of video clips and uh, this one will be how to clean your fireplace glass window. So this is a cast iron closed combustion fireplace and uh, it's pretty easy to clean. You don't need any chemicals or anything like that. And I'm going to show you how we clean ours. So let's get started. So what you can get is, you get, get yourself a bowl with just a little bit of water in and uh, newspaper. Some old newspaper, a couple of sheets, and then let's get cracking. So what I've done is I've already uh, taken out some of the ash, cleaned it out, and uh, what I'm going to do is, don't know if you can see, there we go, the light is, see how dark it's gotten? Uh, that was uh, of the last pieces I put in last night. Moisture contents was very low of the wood, but even though we closed the vents all the way so it can burn as long as possible, uh, you do get some of the soot of the black on the glass and uh, this can spoil the whole atmosphere of the fire. It did not look like this uh, before we went to bed. It was nice and clear, but as I said, because I closed the vents completely, um, then this happened with the last bit. Um, so what you do is, a little bit of water, take the newspaper, crumple it up, little ball, not too tight. Um, and what I'm going to do is, this is my wife's nguni, so it looks beautiful, but I don't want to mess on it. So bring the door a little bit closer, water bucket, you've got your newspaper. And then inside, after I clean it, I always leave a little bit of the fine ash. You don't want the big pieces of charcoal or bits because that can potentially scratch the glass. You just want the fine charcoal. So what I do is just wet it a bit. You don't want it soaking wet. Just uh, about a third of it, dip it into the water. And then just rub the glass, circular motions. Get that a little bit of water on the glass. And then what you do is you take it, dip it into the fine ash. So you can get a little bit of that fine ash on it. And this is going to help you clean the glass. So you can't really see, but I'm going to show you, you saw how it looked just before I started. So small circular movements, kind of your wax on, wax off approach. And uh, be patient. It doesn't happen instantly, but while you do it, you can definitely see how it's starting to remove some of that darkness. Okay, just put it in there, get a clean piece of paper. Give it a small dip, not too much, because we don't want it to become muddy on the glass. We want to get it off. There we go. Just keep going. Take the same piece, fold it a bit, dip it and wet it. And this is a bit tedious. But it's worth it because then you can actually enjoy the fire. Of course, it will still heat up your place, even if the glass isn't that clean. But uh, come on, atmosphere. We all want some atmosphere. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this door so that you can see the results thus far. Let's open it. Look at that already. And that's just with a little bit of water and a little bit of the ash, newspaper, and small circular movements continually. So, let's do another round.
you see it becomes a bit dry, oops, it's a bit much, then get a little bit of water, a little bit more ash. Building up a sweat here. <laughs> Breaking out a sweat. Okay, this is my last piece, this is the fourth piece. And I think this would be the last piece that I'll need to finish the job, hopefully. Some parts take a bit longer to clean, but it's fine. Be patient. Beautiful. Look at that. Boom. Nice and clean. Beautiful. Okay. So now I'm going to tidy up and then uh, we'll get back to building a fire and getting it started. Great stuff. Thanks, Malt. Cheers.